What's going on everybody? Marvel Ranger here with another video. Hope y'all been doing well. Um, today's video is a very special one because we are celebrating this channel hitting 500 subscribers. Um, I can't thank y'all enough. I'm just so grateful. Um, I didn't think we'd, we'd get this far in this amount of time. Of course, you know, there's many channels out there that gets a lot more subs, but just personally... I, I don't feel like my content is all that great, you know, compared to all these other content creators. So thank you so much, you know, for taking your time, uh, taking your time to watch my videos. Um, hopefully they've been uh, entertaining or somehow therapeutic. Maybe you're living vicariously through these, through these toy hunting uh, videos or maybe it somehow makes you feel relaxed. I don't know. But either way, hopefully um, there's some positive outcomes from these videos. And I'll continue to make these until I get bored of it. Um, which will be probably a while. <laughs> Maybe never. But anyways, um, yeah, I, I believe I started uh, uploading. My first upload, I believe, was September 31st of last year. So we're not in uh, a year yet with this channel, but we're getting there. But uh it's just been a fun ride, and I'm, I'm glad y'all are here to uh, join me. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get to this haul. And at the end, uh, just a reminder, at the end of the video, I will announce uh, the giveaway rules. And the giveaway um, prize, uh, if you watched last, last video, then you know it is this worthy Captain America Marvel Legends figure. And, yep, good luck to everybody. Um, yeah, let's get to this haul. So first of all, um, so NECA on their NECA store website, they had a, a short uh, window of um, time to um, order these exclusives. And I'll show you guys what I got. So first we have the John Connor with motorbike action figure from NECA. This is from the Terminator 2 Judgment Day movie. Definitely my favorite Terminator movie. And actually the first one that I, I watched when I was a kid. Um, we somehow uh, acquired the VHS. Uh, my dad probably acquired it from somebody. And I've watched it so many times when I was younger. Uh, the most um, scene, the most iconic scene that I remember is when Arnold Schwarzenegger is naked. And he's bent over you know, with one knee don't ask me why but as a kid yeah it's just something it was just like whoa <laughs> you know what i mean but anyways here he is up close comes with an extra face sculpt this face sculpt comes with a bandana as you guys can see looks great it comes with that huge motorbike in the back oh that looks that's I don't remember being that big compared to him, but yeah, I know dirt bikes can get pretty, pretty big. There's a nice picture of it. I uh, can't wait to open this. He's going to look really good with Arnold. And so yeah, there's the side, there's the back. You can pause it if you want to read that bio. And then next, uh, let's see, we got the... The exclusive Batman and Predator set. Now, I was really excited about this, but then when I opened this, I was like, there's no art in here? Like, what the heck? There should have been some kind of art print inside the packaging, especially being a SECC exclusive. But, um, oh well. Uh, here is Batman. Uh, this version is... I forget what the name of this version of this Batman is. Uh, it doesn't even say it on the back. There's nothing on the back. It's just all black. It's not a good looking package. It's very simple. Which is okay, but there should have been some art. Inside, somewhere at least. You know what I mean? But yeah. He's, um, this is the metal suit, I guess? I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. But 
looks like it comes with a bat comes with an extra hand uh, looks like a pistol I don't know what that is but yeah the set is it's okay um, yeah obviously I haven't taken it out of the pa package yet so I'll have to mess with it but it doesn't look like he's got that torso rotation it can only it's got the ab crunch but I don't I don't think there's a torso rotation it doesn't look like it and then we have uh, Predator here. Uh, it doesn't look too unique compared to all the other Predators. But yeah. There's the Batman set. And then we have the Superman Aliens 2-pack. Again, no art in the inside. Same thing with the back. And there is Superman. It's a pretty good looking Superman, but... I wouldn't say it's marvelous. Comes with an extra head sculpt. As you can see, his eyes. Um, there's a little, yeah, a little hole there, so you can put these accessories. It's like a laser effect, and it comes with one really long one. And it comes with interchangeable hands. That face sculpt, yeah, it looks okay, but uh, I feel like it could have been better, you know what I mean? No torso rotation, once again. And here's an alien. Oh, very simple looking alien. Nothing too unique. Like, I really feel like they cheaped out on these, these two two-packs, just so they can make a lot of profit out of it. Because normally, if they sold these at, like, Target, it would be, what, like, 40, 50 bucks, but... I forget how, how much they were, but they were a lot more. All right. And I actually got this from the Walmart website. It's the Captain America with the bike. Um, there he is. I actually really like that face sculpt. Nothing too complex or anything, but I don't know. I really like that eye. Um... Uh, the mask that he's wearing underneath the, the goggles or glasses, whatever you call it. It's a really good looking suit. Um, let's see, let's read the bio. When Steve Rogers joins the top secret super soldier program during World War II, he emerges as the incredibly strong and fiercely patriotic hero, Captain America. Yeah, I thought I was going to have more details about this suit and everything, <clears throat> but I guess it doesn't. Yeah, um, there's the back. That's good. I can't wait to take this out of the package and display it with some other riders. And there's the shield. That's good. Comes with that pouch. Yeah, so he's going for what? $39.99 on Walmart.com in case anyone is interested. And then let's see. We have... Last but not least, here we go. So, this is the Marvel Legends Stan Lee action figure. And as you can see, it is mint in box. And, uh, yeah, I've been planning to open this once we hit 500 subscribers. And now we're here. Whew, the time has come. Are y'all ready? I don't know if y'all are ready for this. I'm, I sh I'm actually kind of nervous. Um, I really hope the figure doesn't have any discolora discoloration or anything like that. <laughs> you never know. The previous owner might have had it in some shed, very hot shed or something. But let's go ahead and just open this and let's see how he looks. Like I've seen pictures of him online. Oh, by the way, this is uh, this is from 2007. I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go. And this is from a uh, Comic Con. I forget which one. Uh, let's see. So, looks like I have to open it from here. Oh man, I can't believe I'm opening this now. All right, let's cut that. Ooh, okay. Yeah. 
I'm like excited and nervous at the same time. <laughs> Side, okay. Ooh, okay. So that's how it looks once you open the top. That is really cool. I really like that logo. I like the color and everything. All right. Oh man, that is a that's an awesome package. Look at the box art. Oh, it got like some comic strips there. That is sweet. It's Jonah Jameson. Let's see what it says. As our loving readers know, New York City is the home of the amazing Spider-Man, but as you are about to see, the city is also home to another exceptional hero. Uh, let's see. You're hired. Now get to work, Stan, says Jonah Jameson. Meanwhile, my spider sense is tingling, and that sound, a bank alarm, oof, slips off a banana. Stan Lee says, wow, I can't believe I just scored a job, a writer. How's that for making a living? Ugh, what luck. You're, you're just your friendly neighborhood, Spider-Man. Gosh, sorry about that. Just a little clumsy, I guess. Say, Spider, I wonder, I'm a writer, and what, and what with this strange meeting, I'd love to know what it is like to swing. Sorry, I'd love to know what it is like to swing like Spider-Man. An interview? Sure thing, hero. Anything for the guy who saved me from taking a dive. Why don't we? Hey, my web shooter is gone. <laughs> now that guy was a character. <laughs> yes, he was. And there is the Marvel Legends Stan Lee action figure. Oh, it says something here too. And that, true believers, is the story of how Spider-Man first met Stan Lee. Sure, you've read many stories about many different magazine heroes, but there's never been a story like this one because there's never been a hero like Stan Lee. Oh, that gave me chills reading that. Stan the Man Lee. Man, rest in peace. San Diego Comic Con. Man, he looks pretty good for a 2007 figure. He really does. There's no discoloration or anything like that. It looks like it comes with some um, the Spider-Man mask, one that is folded, a Peter Parker head sculpt, which doesn't look terrible. But yeah, if you see it in person, it's it's definitely an old an old face sculpt. It looks like it comes with the arms or part of the arms and legs so i guess you can attach that to stan lee and he could become kind of like spider-man partly that's really cool man i'm really liking that spider-man head sculpt that looks really good let me back this up so y'all can see how it looks there it is oh man i can't I can't believe we had 500 subscribers. I'm just, oh man, I'm geeking out, man. This is just so awesome. <laughs> That's such an awesome package. I don't know if I even want to take him out of the package because he looks good like this. Man, he looks great. Like I could just display it like that, right? That is really, really cool. They should make some more packaging like this, you know? Make it more interesting. There's a side art. That is Spider-Man with... That's the head sculpt that it comes with. I don't know about this body here. Maybe it's actually in here, maybe? Nah, I doubt it, actually. Doesn't... The weight... Doesn't feel like it has another figure in there. There's the back. Oh, so it looked like if you open his jacket up, it's going to be the Spider-Man costume. That is really cool. Yeah, see, it opens up. That's cool. So he's six feet tall, 155 pounds. It's a healthy weight for that size. Let's actually read this. 
Stan Lee first met Captain America when he was 19 years old and just getting started in publishing. It was a short meeting, just long enough for Cap to flesh out a few details for the story Stan was covering for Timely Comics. But it made a lasting impression. There were great men out in the world in the world and Stanley resolved to tell their stories. Later in his career he became the official memorist of the Fantastic Four and one of the few citizens to meet Spider-Man face to face, though it was always difficult to get interviews with a web slinger. During the height of anti-mutant paranoia he was one of a very few writers with full access to Charles Xavier's X-Men. He is the only human writer ever to secure ever to secure an interview with Black Bolt, King of the Inhumans, famously short though it was. So famous is he as an accurate, impartial teller of tales of daring do that even Dr. Doom is rumored, rumored to desire his services as ghostwriter on the inevitable biography. He has been a friend, advisor, and confidant to the superhuman community of Earth for 65 years now, a man without whom many of history's most significant events will long ago have faded into obscurity. Powers, astounding alliterative, astounding alliterative abilities. Oh, alliteration. Tireless wrists, stunning humility, and good looks. Oh, man. If it wasn't for Stan Lee, there wouldn't be these outrageous toy hunts and all these releases of these action figures. It's crazy what this guy did. And man, I'll be forever grateful for this dude. Thank you so much, Stan. Man. Well, there he is. Man, that's such an awesome packaging. Love it. All right. Well, thank you for uh, watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. Um, let's go and get to these uh, the giveaway rules. So here's the giveaway prize, the worthy cap. I know a lot of y'all couldn't uh, find this at your local Walmart. So, And we found him in um, my trip to the uh, Comic-Con in Raleigh. So... All right, so the giveaway rules. So you must comment down below. Okay, first, you have to be subscribed, of course. Uh, you have to like this video. And then third, you have to comment down below and tell me your favorite, uh, favorite toy that you picked up this year. And then you have to, in that comment, you have to write down your um, state in which you reside in. Or if you live, um, if you don't live in the U.S., just um, type in the country that you live in. Okay, so anyone can enter. You can be, you can live in Africa, Australia, or wherever. So anyone can enter, and um, just remember those rules: to subscribe, to like this video, and to tell me, uh, write down your favorite pickup of this year, and then write down the state that you reside in. Okay, and then uh, I'll pick a winner um, with the, the randomizer thingamajig, and then um, I will announce the winner um, sometime around August 28th, so from two weeks from today, okay? So good luck, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, man, thank you, for, thank you for being part of this, everybody. I really appreciate it. And helping this channel get to 500 subscribers. And because we reached that milestone, we were able to finally open this figure. And it looks excellent. Oh, I love it. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I actually need to buy some more shelves. But anyways, um, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And um, I do got some toy hunt videos coming up soon. Um, I've just been so busy. And so... Um, yeah, I'll catch y'all next time, and don't forget to enter the giveaway, all right? Ranger out! Peace!
Hi, heroes. This is Stan Lee coming at you. Want you to know, Marvel has always been and always will be a reflection of the world right outside our window. That world may change and evolve, but the one thing that will never change is the way we tell our stories of heroism. Those stories have room for everyone, regardless of their race, gender, religion, or color of their skin. The only things we don't have room for are hatred, intolerance, and bigotry. That man next to you, he's your brother. That woman over there, she's your sister. And that kid walking by, hey, who knows? He may have the proportionate strength of a spider. We're all part of one big family, the human family, and we all come together in the body of Marvel. And you, you're part of that family. You're part of the Marvel universe that moves ever upward and onward to greater glory. In other words, Excelsior.